All right, this is Jeff Jeff from Hot 179, and I'm hanging out here with uh, Otter Bright, a uh, band from right here in central New York. And you guys just finished playing a show at the Warp Tour, and you guys had your own appearance on TRL on Wednesday. So first of all, uh, how do you guys feel about playing on the Warp Tour? It was such an awesome experience to get to play something that uh, we've been going to see for 10 years now. Uh, we had a blast. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely, definitely. I mean, it was uh, you know it was great to be able to kind of play alongside to some degree. You know, great bands like Every Time I Die, uh, Pennywise, Real Big Fish was there this year, which is really Bouncing cool. Bouncing Souls, Bouncing Souls, very cool as well. Um, the same stage we played actually uh, was Forever the Sickest Kids, and then also the audition, and they actually had recorded at the same studio we just recorded our EP at, so it was kind of cool to share that same. Studio. Yeah. So. Very cool. And TRL, what was uh, what would like to be on an MTV finally? That was that was just, that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know at, at one one time or another uh, we've all watched that show. So to be there and be a part of it is is surreal. We were all like, "Where's Carson Daly? What's yeah. going on?" <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was it was a cool experience. You can tell our age. We were like, "Who's Davey? <laughs> but yeah, really really awesome. Really awesome time. Was it weird for you guys to play an acoustic version of your new song, Home is a Heartache? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it was, it was cool because it sounded good, but, I mean, it, it was awkward for those two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, no drums? Yeah, no, no, no egg shaker or tambourine or anything. We rainbow. would have liked to play a full it's band. There. That definitely portrays who we are, but yeah, I'm, MTV will take what we can get. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're not going right. to complain, but I, I would play... Just sing the song if we could. Yeah. <laughs> if we did all if we done all it would have been fine with us. I would air man. That's <laughs> guitar hero of the song. All right, so now that you guys have played MTV, you know, you have your new CD that's coming out. It comes out actually officially tomorrow. Uh, it's called If Life Was a Movie. If This Was a Movie. If This, this Was a Movie. Yeah. Um, and can you guys talk a little bit about the recording process and, you know, the writing process, what songs really inspired you and hit you? Yeah, we, uh, we recorded at Nada Studio in Poughkeepsie, New York. Um, Newburgh, I guess, type of Yeah, thing. Newburgh, Newburgh, Poughkeepsie area. Yeah, yeah. And uh, with John DeClario, who's done Brand New, The Ataris, My Chemical Romance. Um, and that was really awesome. John is the coolest guy ever. He talks, a lot, talks about a lot of older things. <laughs> um, but it's, it's awesome recording there. We have a really good time. Uh, we got to hang out with Alex from My Ball Records. And uh, really very happy rock out. Him. Yeah. Yes. Very happy with the songs we chose and how we how we how it came out. We were just stoked to get it. Yeah, we had a bunch. We actually had probably about ten or eleven songs to choose from, and we had quite the battle <laughs> <laughs> trying to scale it down to the ones that that we actually uh, ended up going with. But like Ryan was saying, we wanted this to make. I mean, we, we had done a full length last year, and we had a lot of fun doing the full length, but literally those were the ten songs that we knew. So we were like, well, these are the songs we know, so all of them are going on the record. And with this one, we, we could be, uh, I guess, a little bit frugal, I guess the word I'm looking for. She was eating with, our, with the, the picks, with what songs we wanted to go with. So. And to clarify, when he says battle, he means sword fight. Yes. We actually we literally put on armor, put on armor and had sword fights. You don't know this, but Honor Bright are trained ninjas. Yeah, the one that was stabbed the soonest with the sword actually didn't get their song. Yeah, so, so unfortunately, Kurt, as good looking as he is, is not as fancy with the sword as we would originally have hoped. Yeah. So Kurt, Kurt had his throat cut. Yeah, so he got beat. Uh, and then we, uh, we, we pretty much just scaled it down to those six, and that's what we, uh, we wanted it to be a solid record, so that's what we ended up. Well, let me ask you guys a uh, question. I mean, you guys say the album called If This Were a Movie, and um, one of your songs is called Roads, Where We're Going, We Don't Need Roads. <laughs> um, I've noticed that a lot in popular music, um, it, particularly like emo music as well. Um, there's a lot of uh, references to movies and yeah. quotes being used in them. Uh, can you kind of tell me how you guys use that or <laughs> what it means to you? I, I know a lot of times when we enjoy a movie and quote it constantly, it, it ends up becoming some sort of... CD or song title just because it makes us laugh. Yeah. So we put Kurt, it Kurt is probably he's the defending uh, champion when it comes to uh, fanboyism. When it when it comes when it comes to Back to the Future quotes, I mean you can pretty much ask him anything. Trilogy. About, yeah. 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 The, uh, the any any question. Trivia in general. Yeah. He's he's I'm pretty spot on with it. <laughs> kind of roads and cereals. It's actually and the, the second. How many people are in Lou's aerobic show? Yeah. Yeah. It's uh. 
Well, well, it's the end of the first is actually when he says it. No, no, I was saying also we have gigawatts. Oh, yeah, the, the first EP we ever came out with, which was supposed to be self-titled, but then through a very convoluted series of events, ended up being called Get Stoked, and it was a five-song <laughs> EP. Um, uh, I was actually still playing guitar at the time, and that's probably why it was not that great. Um, <laughs> but they, one of the songs on there, track four, is actually called 1.21 Gigawatts, which obviously was another Back to the Future reference. <laughs> We like, um, to, we like to reference that movie a lot. Yeah, I don't and think then, there's Kansas City Shuffle. Shuffle. We, yeah, Kansas City Shuffle is a reference from uh, Lucky Number Slevin, yeah, Lucky which was a, uh, was a Josh Hartnett and Bruce Willis movie. Um, Pacemaker's kind of a take on Say Anything. Kind of. Gave him a hard beat. Pacemaker, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was from Say Anything. Um, there's track two on the, on the new disc, it's called Let Your Fists Do the Talking, um, which I mean, you can name any boxing movie, and that's what it's from. Uh, Tim and I actually both, I think Ryan as well, avid boxing fans for a while. Kind of. Now we watch MMA pretty religiously, very big UFC fans. Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> that was our long story about movie titles. <laughs> <laughs>